Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Thursday, February 27, 2014, Fukushima Day 1084. If you didn't see yesterday's video, this is a continuation here with another special request and, uh, well, you'll see here. I, 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 I'm sick and tired of this stuff. So th if you haven't seen Fukushima Day 1083, I strongly suggest you do before you watch this video. It's on my uh, playlist here, Fukushima Day, and I put them all in order as I upload them. And uh, basically, one of the strong points in there, you'll, you'll get to hear about Greenpeace, how uh, they were exposed also. And I've talked about how the, the new Snowden documents reveal that there's government agents online, which is what I've been suspecting for a long time. I've talked about how I've been censored, banned. Kevin D. Blanche, Mo uh, Montegraff, Dutch Sense, uh, Brother John, Jason F. Ford, the list goes on and on. Mac Electric, all these guys that are pretending to be real truthers, they're actually fake. It's what I've found here. I can't get into all of that because that's not the topic. Uh, that's not what I'm on right now. This video is all about waking you up and realize that the lies have continued on here. Now, as I mentioned in that last video, Fukushima Day 1083, it's all about lying by omission, discrediting my repu or, or anyone's uh, real truther's reputation, and collecting cash. It's about them making money. And I talked about here Dr. Ken Busler from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. <sighs> How he just wants to play a numbers game with you. He wants to be able to predict within a factor of 10 just how strong the radiation is going to be. He doesn't take into account, you know, he doesn't care that there's 400 tons, uh, what's that, 96 thousand gallons dumping uh, of radioactive wastewater being dumped in the Pacific Ocean every single day. 70 million becquerels of, of, of cesium spewed into the atmosphere every single hour. 70 million every single hour. That's that's what TEPCO is telling us. It could be much higher. We don't know, folks. But now here, I go out here today and I look for some more information on Fukushima. And what do I find? Yes, the scammers are alive and they're well connected. Look at the BBC is propagating the scam. Now stick with me here because this is not good, folks. This is not good. So he goes on to say here in this article that since 2011, the Fukushima accident, uh, since the accident took place here, the researchers at the Bedford Institute of Oceanography, and just wait to see, you're going to see who Bedford is in bed with. They've been sampling waters across a line running almost 2,000 due west of uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Well, look, guess what? That's where I live, right in, I told you, Vancouver Island. Vancouver is right behind me here. I'm closer to the ocean than they have. I'm going to do my own testing here, folks, but look at just to show you how well connected they are. They're in bed with who? The government of Canada. Yeah, wait till you see what else I got on these guys. This is rather sickening because here I am making videos begging you please to send in uh, um, a request to the uh, Health Canada so they can do our own testing. And here we have the Bedford Institute. What? Trying to scam you for some money. And like I said, they're well connected. And that video 1083, Fukushima Day 1083, it's all about who you're paying attention to. Who are you listening to? Because it's one of the things the Snowden files revealed. There's websites and there's YouTubers and there's all kinds of bloggers that are fake. They're paid by the government here and they're just here to swallow up your cash, not give you the truth. Like I said, very well connected. Even BBC News is propagating his bullshit. They want you to raise 600 bucks for a home testing kit. Yeah. Meanwhile, they've been testing it for free. This is what they said right here since 2011. They've been testing it. Why is it all of a sudden now they want? Why? What's that all about? No, seriously. Why would they want all of a sudden you guys to start? Oh, well, here it is. Here he says, yeah, I think it's important to get measurements. And since the governments aren't doing it, we thought the public has a large concern. We'd ask them help collect and fund the sampling. No, folks. It's not up to someone, uh, some... Uh, you know, school or university that's in bed with the government, you know, because we don't trust them. You know, we, we already have the documents here from the Department of Energy. We have different, the U.S. Regulatory Commission, they even knew here that there was going to be massive doses of radiation spewing down. This one even talks about here the thyroid dosage. You know, you know, are you going to tell the public? No, 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 we're not planning any press release as if we're going to trust the government with our water samples. Wake up, people. Stay the hell away from these scammers. And to make matters worse, you know, here's the, the kit's very simple. And by the way, this is not their kit. This is from Vermont, okay? The government of Vermont. They're, they, they're telling you here, the state of Vermont, you just fill up a, a one-quart pre-cleaned plastic container and ship it in. That's it. 
it's 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 that simple but the other ones they want 600 bucks don't send 600 bucks i've been making videos here and if you want to help me out fine but at least do this part here i've been asking you to fill out this re little request form here to the canadian food in inspection agency and i'll leave a link down below here where it says show more on this video so you can send a, a, your your own request in here and you don't have to give them it says required don't give them a real name you'll have to use a, your uh, fictitious email address or your real one that's up to you but Folks, it's not like it's the end of the world here, but we do have to take a proactive approach to this. So I'm asking you to send in the little letter here telling them that you want the, the seafood on the west coast of Canada to be checked. Uh, you want the bivalves to be checked. That's the clams because they're, they're more sensitive. They're, they're basically water filters. So they're going to the first ones to be affected. And, and oddly enough, yesterday there's a story comes out saying how the scallop industry here on Vancouver Island has plummeted. There's nothing. The scallops are dead. There's over 10 million scallops. Is it because of the pH in the water or the radiation? Because radiation does affect the pH in the water. And that's the main story. They're telling it's the pH that killed off these, these uh, bivalves. We don't know that. But we do know is that we need to make a demand here and here's your chance your opportunity and if not guess what i'm doing my own testing in 2011 i made a video here one video i talked about here folks if you want to help me out great i'm spending my own money i'm buying my own two geiger counters i'm going across canada back and forth i went all of the summer of 2011 testing the radiation the testing the fallout from in the rain of the radiation did i find it absolutely i even went down to the atomic Ch energy control board of canada on slater street met with the rep there he's a media rep he didn't know nothing about fukushima these people are downplaying the whole thing and now they want you to send money into some organization so they can start doing the testing for you i don't think so i've been looking up here at the equipment uh, i've sent a couple of emails out i'm waiting for some replies i basically what i've found here this happens to be one of the best little units i think it's compact i can run on 12 volt battery it has a, it, its own battery uh 12 volt charger you can carry it in your car it's got this special um uh liquid um sicil uh, sis, sis, counter and basically it, it's a lead container it traps everything in there folks anyways i'll have to make another video on this but i'm like i said i've started off here some i've sent out some emails i've contacted them i want some quotes i'm trying to find out i'm going to raise my own money here uh, i may take some time but I'll leave a link here, connectingdots1.com. That's my website. I'm not sure if you folks have seen it. Um, but regardless, there's a link there. Oops, see Daisy. And on the link, you'll find, well, a little short story here. Um, I hope I don't sound like I'm bragging too much, but it's just basically I've left this in here so those of you that don't know me have an understanding of what I've done, where, I've, where I'm coming from, um, my past history online here. It's rather important because uh, I know it's uh, rather difficult for some of you to, to you know, f new to my channel, don't know anything about me and maybe considering uh, helping me out or not. Well, here's a little history about myself. And uh, if you want more information, send me a, a, an email. I don't mind, uh, you know, uh, I'll answer any question you want. So basically, here's the, the PayPal link. And if you click it, it brings you to this, uh, oh, hopefully, uh, here we go. So it brings you to this uh, little form here that you can fill out. And I started this in 2011. That's still the same PayPal account. Uh, you fill out your amount here. Not Don't have to fill out $600. And by the way, don't send me a penny if you don't have the spare cash. Do you hear me? Only send me some money if you can afford it. Also, I'm not going to accept any of the money. So it's going to sit in the PayPal account. And I will wait till I've picked the model. I'm going to make a video showing you what model I'm buying. And if I get too many of you saying, no, don't buy that model or whatever, I'm not going to buy it. And, and, and should something happen that I decide I'm not doing this, I'm sending all your cash back. And, and it's one of the great things about PayPal. Uh, if, I don't, if I don't take the money out of the account, I can just press one button and instantly your money's put right back into your account. Okay, so that's it, folks. Uh, do what you can, and like I said, it, worst case scenario, uh, at least uh, fill out the request here. Take care.